All right, so the pipe is an operator that is from the Magrita package and it allows you to string lots of functions together so that you can perform multiple operations on a data set in succession um, in a format that makes it really easy to read your code. So what I want to do now is show you how we can start with our raw beaches data and do the cleaning and the selecting and the renaming um, all at the same time ending up with a um, data set that's much, much more manageable. So let's for um, simplicity's sake let's clean out or we'll sweep out our console and we'll sweep out our environment and so we're just going to remove those objects and I just want to read the data back in so that all I've got is the beaches data. All right so I've run this top row of code to get our data back in and then I'm going to do a number of operations to it to get it to the point where we've got clean uh, columns and renamed things um, all in a series of steps. So let's say we want to make this new thing called clean beaches and we're going to use the sign which so we, the output of each of these functions is going to be assigned to a new object and environment called clean beaches. And we do that by taking our original data and piping it into a series of operations. So the first thing we want to do is clean up the names. So we can use the clean names. Now, usually before when we used clean names, we put the data inside the brackets. But when you use the pipe, you're telling it that this is the data and I want to pipe it into this operation. So you don't need to put the data inside the brackets when you're using the pipe. So the first thing we're going to do is clean the names. And then you can think of the pipe operation as telling R. Uh, and then do this. So take the beach data, get the beach data, and then clean its names. And then select um, just the things we might be interested in. So um, let's say we're interested in, actually, I'm going to rename that. Um, I'm going to do rename first. So I want to rename um, and I want to call the area levels. Hmm, I wonder how this is going to go because I know that after it's cleaned the names, it's actually going to make this look like this. So I might have to just change that tiny bit. Let's see if that works. All right, so I want to rename first and then I'm going to select so that Actually, I'm only interested in the site um, and the council, Oops, council and this, the new one called Beach Bugs. And then just because sometimes once you've done some cleaning, you want to create a new CSV that um, means that you can just read the clean CSV back in. I'm going to use a write CSV to take this new thing called clean beaches and write it to a CSV file that is called clean beaches CSV. 
Right, so let's run this bit first and see if it works. Fingers crossed. Ooh, that looks pretty good. So we have a new thing in our environment called clean beaches. It only has three variables, that's a good sign. Let's see what it's done. So we've got just sites, just council, and just beach bugs. And it's renamed the beach bugs. And then if we go back here and run this one, you can see now we have a new CSV in our environment, in our folder that um, is an output from our taking this clean beaches starter and writing it to a CSV that we can easily read back in at another time. All right. Good luck.